If you want to be a part of the conversation before it happens here on YouTube, click that link in the description to join the free courtside financial discount. Let me explain really clear to you guys what's happening with Adidas. It's not only are they putting out fake colorways that are non-approved, they're suing me for $250 million and they're also not paying me for these shoes that they're putting out that have my name on it. And they're using contract clauses and 50 years of business experience to rape an artist. One of y'all favorite artists right in front of y'all in broad daylight. What's going on everyone? My name's Obi and welcome back to Courtside Financial, the podcast where we dissect the intersection between business and technology, even innovation. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Kanye West and his recent Adidas controversy over the past week and this has been going on much longer than that so saying the past week does it a little bit of a disservice we had a video around this um i believe last year as well um when adidas had actually dropped kanye west and how much they were losing but before i go off on a tangent we're gonna get into everything in the video so first off if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the like button make sure you click the notification bell icon and leave a comment down below your engagement really does go a long way in helping out the channel helping us reach a broader audience so without further ado let's get into the video Let's dive deep into the Kanye West and Adidas saga, where every twist and turn is more dramatic than a Shakespearean story. Our protagonist, Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, has once again taken to the digital stage to air his grievances with the iconic sportswear brand. And I think Kanye is iconic too. So just wanted to put that out there. Ye dropped a bombshell on Instagram, airing out what he believes to be an internal document from Adidas. Now picture this, while Ye's dropping truth bombs, we could roll in some B-roll footage of him scrolling through his phone, eyes squinted in righteous indignation. This document supposedly outlines how Adidas employees should handle inquiries about the return of the Yeezy line. It's like watching a spy thriller, but instead of secret agents, we have sneakerheads and corporate execs. Ye's Instagram caption hit harder than a knockout punch, accusing Adidas of disregarding his opinions and, wait for it, trampling on human rights. Now that's a heavy accusation, folks. I can practically smell the smoke from this scorcher, but let's give Adidas a chance to lace up their response sneakers. Billboard, who I got my information from, reached out to them for a comment, but so far they received nothing. Maybe they're too busy crunching numbers from their latest Yeezy sales. Honestly, I don't think that they're selling that many Yeezys, but who knows, the information could be shocking. I mean, there's a lot of people who aren't even in tune with social media. Me personally, will I be buying Adidas, Adidas Yeezys um, anymore now that Kanye has um, denounced them? No, because you know the whole point of buying the sneaker was to support your artists and because um, of the energy or the the respect that Kanye brought to the collab. Now it feels like you remove Kanye from the collab. To me, you take the soul out of the collab. So for me, I won't be buying Yeezys, but maybe there's people out there doing that and no um, harm, no foul to them. Speaking of sales, Adidas recently announced that they'll be releasing more Yeezys into the wild. It's like a divorcee showing off their new Porsche after splitting up with their ex. Adidas ended their partnership with Ye back in 2022, citing his string of controversial remarks and how they're no good for the brand, marking it as hate speech. Now let's not paint Adidas as an innocent bystander here. They cozied up with Ye for quite some time, even after he compared himself to Adolf Hitler and Jesus Christ. Ye's been on a roller coaster of controversy, from slavery being a choice to the mark of the beast. His PR has got to be having a field day every day. It's like playing a game of Russian roulette. And let's not forget his infamous fashion choices like the infamous White Lives Matter t-shirt. Ye's fashion statements sometimes can be as bold as his opinions and ultimately just divisive. So where does this leave us? In a never ending whirlwind of drama. Whether it's about human rights or just plain old celebrity shenanigans, one thing's for sure. Ye versus Adidas is the feud that keeps on giving. 
That's all for this installment of the Courtside Financial Podcast. I want to hear what you think about the matter. Please leave a comment down below. Click the like button. Click the notification bell icon. Um, share the video. All that stuff really does go a long way in helping us continue to create create content and reach a broader audience. But anyhow, thank you ever so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next installment.